Hey everyone, Captain Owl here, and today I'm going to show you on how to make an automatic storage system for your Minecraft 1.15 or 1.16 worlds. Let's get into it. Now, before I start, this design was built none other by Impulse SV. If you want to go check him out, go check him out down in the link below. Thank you. So the first thing that we're going to cover are the materials for this build, and they are rather quite simple. Using 20 chests, 5 redstone comparators, 5 redstone repeaters, 5 torches, 15 redstone dust, uh, 25 blocks of any type of block that you want, and 20 hoppers. Now the 20 hoppers can be pretty expensive, but it's very much worth it in the long run using this storage system. Now to start off this build, we would want to start by placing some chests down facing away from each other so it looks like this. We don't need to have many chests in a line, but this will do for now. Then connect both the chests with double chest. Make sure that you're not opening up the chest and make sure that they're not doing this. So both of them are connected just like so. To put chests on top of the chests, and make them into double chests. So not like that, but just like so, make them into double chests, just like I do right here. Now come around to the back here and start placing down your hoppers, making sure that none of them face into each other. When they face into each other, you'll notice that the funnel is facing towards this funnel, which creates a backup system in this little area here so that the items will not flow into the chest. Make sure this doesn't happen. Then go two blocks from the hoppers and place down your redstone repeaters facing the hoppers. Go ahead and place your blocks behind the repeaters and in front of them as well. Once you do that, go ahead and place down your redstone torches down on the side like so. Once you're all set with that, go ahead and finish the top of the hoppers on top of the chests or next to the chests like so, so that none of the spouts are facing each other. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a three by five rectangle above the torches and the redstone repeaters and the blocks. Now place comparators where the redstone torches are, but just on the top, just like so, so that they are facing away from you. This torch is facing away from you. You're gonna have to wanna make sure every each and every end of the redstone dust is connecting each other in a grid pattern so that the machine works as intended. You want to make sure that the hoppers aren't facing downwards. You actually want to make sure that they are facing the comparators. So one quick easy check is to see whether these are facing each other. Now you're going to make a moving system. So what you're going to do is you're going to place a block next to this hopper, place a block on top of that, then place a hopper, 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 going all the way down the line until the very end so that all the hoppers are moving in one direction. So for the filter, what you're going to do is you're gonna rename one block, and for this instant, I'll just re I'll just name it filter for now. So it would just then you're gonna categorize your blocks, make sure that your filter block is within the storage system. What you're gonna do then is you're gonna make sure this filter system is connected to the hopper that you wanna put in. So let's say, stone the third one right here then what you're going to do is you're going to right click on this hopper you're going to fill this up and then you're going to have one stack of stone that goes in here this should stop at 41 blocks and if it does then your filter is working so that means this area this redstone signal will be lit up so that this will finally work as your storage system. So then you're gonna put in the rest of the filter blocks in each of the hoppers, just like so. It's so like one right here, one right there, one right there, one right there, one right there. And then you're gonna put a stack for each category in each. So like diamonds, stone, apples, bones, and redstone. So if we do redstone, we're gonna put the redstone dust in the redstone compartment just like so, this should reach down to 41. So the signal should be lit, so that is working. Now once you're done with that, you're gonna go ahead and add two more hoppers onto the side here, just like so, and then you're gonna add one final chest up at the top here or anywhere that you want to put or dump all your items within. So now once you put this chest here, this chest will flow into these hoppers, which then will flow into these hoppers, which will then flow 
into the system, which will sort all your items for you. For example, if we put redstone dust into the system here, you will start to see that the redstone dust goes down by two. This is because of the hopper system that we made. Then the items will get sorted into each of the corresponding chests. So all the redstone is gone. We're gonna check down here and all the redstone is popping up down here. So as you can see, this is a really nice and easy system to use for your Minecraft 1.15 or 1.16 worlds, the nether update worlds. I hope you guys enjoyed this mini easy tutorial on how to make a storage system for your Minecraft worlds. I will see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and also subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and of course, hoot on.